Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. Today's video is a week in my life, so I was starting out the week. This was a Monday morning, and I was just gonna play, do some planning. I was very excited for the Fraser reboot that was starting this Thursday. Frasier is one of my favorites, uh, like 90s sitcoms, maybe even one of my favorite sitcoms ever. Um, but it was actually Thanksgiving in Canada on this day, but we actually don't celebrate Thanksgiving, so it didn't really mean anything to us, aside from the fact that John didn't have to work. So that was kind of cool, but I really wanted to get my kitchen organized, mainly this fridge. It was driving me nuts. Um, and I was gonna do some meal prep, so normally I like to do that on Sundays, but I think we were busy doing something else, and I knew that John was not gonna be working on Monday so that I could do it on Monday, because his office is right below the kitchen, so I try not to be, like, in there doing meal prep while he's working, but first off, we're gonna have some breakfast, we're gonna have some fruit from this fruit tray and some yogurt which is so good i love having just fruit for breakfast it's so hydrating and refreshing somebody was coming to buy our old blender so that was nice it didn't take very long to sell and it was like 50 dollars, so it's pretty good i came upstairs to like make the bed and stuff after breakfast and i popped in here to see a little sleeping cutie but I tidied the, oh no, I know what I wanted to do. <laughs> Since it was such a nice day out, I was like, oh, this is the perfect day to wash the sheets because I can hang them out on the line and they'll dry pretty quick. Although I do think it was like, it started raining and John had to run out and like grab them, but whatever. <laughs> I love hanging the sheets out on the line versus putting them in the dryer. So I always like strive to do that. And then while I was down there, I grabbed everything that I needed for her food prep. And I was just using the empty laundry basket as a little um, container to carry everything upstairs in. I was trying to use up a bunch of ingredients and things that I had in the fridge. So I had some cream cheese and sour cream. So I decided to make some dill pickle chipped a bit of that which turned out amazing um i took a break from food prepping to help uh, john pack orders because there was a lot on this day and then i went back to meal prepping i made john some chickpea salad like uh with like a hot sauce and mayo and then i tried to make myself uh like a chicken salad with tofu normally i've been doing egg salad but i had just gotten cranberries restocked and i love i used to love chicken salad with cranberries and celery but um i make it all the time too with like tofu or something so made some of that for myself and then just some raw vegetables and hummus in these containers and then um since i'm gluten-free like occasionally i'll eat sourdough but um I'll usually just eat sandwich filling like by itself without bread a lot of times. Um, sometimes I eat gluten-free bread, but it's just not quite as good. So I don't know, I'll just go for that. I love this as like a lunch, really good. And then I decided to um, cut up all the rest of this fruit from the fruit tray because it was it really needed to be eaten so i just cut it up and put it into bowls for us to have the next day for breakfast and that way it's like already ready to go and i could go ahead and recycle that tray so i did that can you guess which one's mine <laughs> had a bunch of like random things I just wanted to use up in the fridge too so um, I had some of this tofu it's like a very soft tofu it's a different texture than regular tofu I guess uh, it's more like silken tofu even though it's not called silken tofu um, so I was gonna make these breakfast wraps for John out of tofu and some vegetables that I had to use up so I had found those wraps at the grocery store a couple weeks prior I think so got to work on that I put some TVP sausage in there as well that I had made and just had in the freezer some spinach 
um, peppers and onion, I think. And then I was also sauteing some peppers and onion for um, dinner that night at the same time. So it would be ready. Got all the dishes all done and cleaned up, which felt really good. So then I was going to throw in a load of towels. I usually do that after I get like all the dishes and kitchen clean because then I can just clean all the, those towels too with the same load. But I went downstairs to do that and then I went in to talk to John for a minute and Marley had followed me downstairs to the basement. She doesn't really go in the basement very much, like except her litter's down there. So she uses the bathroom, but um, we have this little tower for her down there. And uh, I don't know if she just hadn't... Uh, seen it for a while but sometimes I do sprinkle uh, catnip on top of it but it's just so cute she's like just tiny enough to not like fall off like if she gets any bigger or fatter she would not be able to do this but super cute she loves it up there so after I got done that John had already pulled the sheets in off the line they were like the slightest bit damp but um, I was thinking about that like thing that people were doing for a while. Well, I just hung the top sheet over the door, but I just put the bottom sheet on, even though it was a little damp, and just left it. And I figured it would be dry by the time I was going to bed, and it was. And um, Riley was on neighborhood watch duty, aka looking for Jimmy. <laughs> um, we hadn't seen Jimmy for a little while, though. And then uh, while I was up there doing that with the bed laundry, I noticed that... John had a basket of laundry that was clean there, so I just decided to fold that and put that away for him while he was working. And for some reason, Marley loves John's closet. Like, as soon as she notices the door is open, she is, like, in there, just thinks it's the coolest thing ever, even though there's, like, nothing in there that would be of interest to her. I guess it's just, you know, a door that's always closed, and it's just funny. She knows she's not really supposed to be in there, though, so she, like, quietly tries to creep in. <laughs> and then for dinner that night, I was just uh, making like, I guess, lazy pizza. <laughs> I don't know. I had these gluten-free thin crust pizzas, shells, pizza dough that we had bought. And I just had already like pre-made sauce in the fridge. And we had got some vegan cheese, some matzo and cheddar, and then I had some barbecue jackfruit. So I decided to make like a barbecue um, jackfruit pizza. <laughs> Uh, and it turned out really good. I, I don't think I had ever had those crusts before, but they were so good and it was like so convenient and easy. And my fridge was all nice and clean and organized and I love that on a Monday. So John had actually just joined a bowling league. Um, he used to bowl where we used to live. And so he had gone to bowling that night. It was his first night. So just me and Marley here. So I decided to fold the towels and I gave the Peanuts Thanksgiving special a watch even though we don't really celebrate Thanksgiving. Um, so I was watching that while I was folding the towels, and then I was watching like one of my favorite like recent shows. It's called Physical. It takes place in the 1980s, and it's so funny. I'm so sad. This um, like season three is the last season, and I'm so sad that it's not going to have any more seasons because I enjoy watching it so much. So I think I watched one or two episodes that night. So the next morning I was eating my fruit, which apparently was hard to open with one hand. Um, I was eating that at my desk because I had a bunch of stuff to do like first thing in the morning that I wanted to get done. So I was just in there for a little while, but then after I finished that, I made the bed. It was such a beautiful day. I was so happy for that. I had bought this um, mat a few weeks ago at one of the thrift stores we went to. They sell like new stuff too, so I had gotten this mat with the pumpkins on it that I thought would be really cute, but I hadn't put it out yet, so I wanted to put that out and then I thought I would show you the pumpkins that I ended up getting. I think I shared that in the last video. I got some pretty Cinderella ones. And then on this day, John actually had to leave for like work. So I was getting a bunch of food ready for him to go. And I was actually so sad that he was leaving this day. Like I almost started crying, <laughs> but I didn't want to do that because I didn't want him to be like driving away thinking about me being super sad. <laughs> um, so yeah, the next day I was just doing some planning for like YouTube, like video stuff, trying to like figure everything out the holidays gets like kind of crazy so and then I made myself a BLT I guess it was like 
closer to lunchtime and I was just hanging out with Marley. She's so cute. She gets so sad when John's gone. <laughs> I think I've, I think I mentioned that all the time, but it's true anyway. So I always feel like I need to spend time with her. Um, and I decided to watch Practical Magic again, even though I just watched it because it's so good. I love it so much. And then I was making all these, um, I had made all these labels, so I was printing them out. And then I was, I got out my laminator and was laminating them. It's like stupid, but cute. Um, I was trying really hard to keep myself busy during this week. Um, the news is just so heartbreaking and I just kept thinking about it like non-stop so I was trying to keep myself busy so that I wasn't thinking about it 24 hours a day but I was having a really hard time sleeping I just kept waking up and thinking about it so yeah I was just trying to like do things to distract my brain from it I did stop looking at the news after a couple of days because just for my mental health, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just, it's heartbreaking. Another thing, like I didn't really have an appetite either for quite a few days actually. But I woke up on this day after I decided not to look at the news anymore. Um, and I made myself some breakfast because I hadn't really been eating much. And I wanted something that was like high calorie because uh, I probably was only going to eat the one time, but I made myself breakfast. This is like very comfort food for me too. So it's like, I'm just going to get up and I'm going to make breakfast and I'm going to watch a movie and everything's going to be fine. Um, so I ended up just watching The Addams Family and hanging out with Marley. And then later in the day, I was thinking about making some pumpkin coffee and I decided to try and make, like look up a recipe for uh starbucks pumpkin spice sauce so it's not vegan so i've never been able to have it at starbucks so i was like it can't be that it can't be that hard it was super easy i made that i made myself an iced pumpkin spice latte it was so good and so comforting and it just made me so happy in that moment so then the next day i hadn't eaten since um breakfast the day before so i just made myself breakfast again it felt good the day before that and I just watched the second Adams Family movie the ones from the 90s and uh yeah it was um I don't know it's really hard sometimes um just to like be normal when something really terrible is happening I'm sure most people are feeling the same way and I usually don't talk about stuff like this on my channel because I just want to keep it like happy and fun but sometimes it's just really hard so anyway um I've been trying to keep myself busy like I said I've been working on um some projects in the house that I'm not showing you because I'm um, filming like videos for them um so that's what I was doing a lot of the time as well just working a lot on that but apparently I was making more ice I was making another ice latte um I heard, I read recently like within this year that you should keep ice cubes in a paper bag and it, they won't stick together and it actually works so I've been doing it since then I've been loving this pumpkin sauce so it's so easy I'll try to remember to leave the link to like the um to the recipe that I made it from the only thing that I did that was different was like substitute uh, use like sweetened condensed milk so like you don't have to make it vegan the recipe wasn't vegan I just substituted the sweetened condensed milk for a plant-based version and yeah it turned out really great so I'm very happy about that I know that I shared it over on Instagram I've been using Instagram again I don't even think I've ever mentioned that in the video but I do have a Instagram that I started to go along with this channel but then I stopped using Instagram for like almost two years I think so but I just recently started again and so far I'm liking it there's quite a few of you that we chat in the DMs sometimes which is nice that's one of the things that I missed actually so it's sort of like real-time vlogging I guess is what I always call it I actually share a lot of like cat stuff <laughs> um but these are what the like labels I was making for I have these 
little baskets that I had thrifted, oh God, probably like a year ago. Um, so I thought, oh, because I have a little video store in my basement and then I have the little pantry grocery store. So I just made things for that. It just makes it easier to carry more stuff, but they're perfect size for VHS. So on this day, my keep busy project was this closet, which wasn't actually too bad a while back. In a vlog, I completely cleaned it, but I wanted to clean, like give the bathroom a really good deep clean and sort. And I figured I would do the linen closet at the same time. And so I had the window open because I was using some like harsher cleaners in there. And of course, as soon as I opened the window, I noticed Jimmy. And then so I went outside and he came running over. He usually likes to jump up in between the rails of the corner of the deck. So as soon as he saw me, he was uh, running over to see me, which is so cute. Uh, I just love Jimmy so much. He is the friendliest cat that I think I've ever met. Just so great. Right before we moved here, like a week before my cat actually passed away after like 16 years and then um i met jimmy within like a couple of days and he's just this friendliest cat and i was so sad about my cat um i just felt like it was just like a sign from the universe or something and on this week i was obviously really sad too so <laughs> i was so happy to like just sit out there with him and all of his cat healing powers. So I spent quite a bit of time out there with him actually. Um, and he, you probably noticed like he keeps looking over at the door. <laughs> he like can't help himself, but get over to the door and like peek in cause he wants to see Marley. He wants to be friends with her so bad. It's so cute. He also, I keep the blinds closed now, but and the window closed. But he used he used to always sit up in this window and look in at her. But she would get really upset, so I had to keep that. But whenever the door is open, he pops up like this, and uh, he's got the screen completely destroyed on the door. I don't really care though, because the door is old, so we want to replace it. But. He was definitely hoping to catch a glimpse at her, but she was actually asleep while I was out there with him. But um, eventually she did wake up, but they didn't actually end up seeing each other. But this is where he sits and he looks in the bathroom window. So sometimes Marley will get up in the bathroom window and sit there and he just looks at her, but she hisses at him because she's like, I don't like you. But I think she does like that she has an admirer. So at this point, I think she had heard him digging at the screen. She was like, hey, what's going on? But she didn't get up in the window. And then about 10 minutes after I came in from hanging out with Jimmy out there, it started raining hail. So that's interesting. Uh, since I had the bathroom window open and I was in there cleaning, I could hear this noise all of a sudden. <laughs> And then I looked at the window and was like, oh, okay, cool. So hopefully Jimmy was somewhere safe. <laughs> I, lo I looked for him, but I didn't see him anywhere. But I know sometimes he'll go under a building or um, I think he goes to other people's houses too. I think he's like the friendly neighborhood cat because I always see him walking up other people dri people's driveways. But I did end up getting the closet all cleaned up and sorted and that made me feel better. And it's always nice when... I just love having a clean house. <laughs> I'm one of those people that cleans like every day, but um, when you like really do a good deep cleaner declutter, it just feels extra good. <laughs> and then I just went over the floors with my little stick vacuum to get up all like my hair, Marley's fur, <laughs> just little random bits of dust. And then uh, I chilled with Marley for a while because she had gotten up and I'm the only person she has, so. <laughs> I love the moment when she reaches out with her little paw and touches me like it's okay mom <laughs> she actually does that a lot uh, when she's laying next to me but later in the evening a lot of times when John's away working we'll be like watching a show together but we're not really watching a show right now but we decided to try and watch this Wednesday show 
because uh, I had just watched The Addams Family. We watched a couple episodes, but neither one of us were really feeling it. Um, so we just gave up on it. But I mean, it's not it's not bad. It's just not really my thing, I guess. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we still don't have a show to watch. <laughs> um, but we're going into like the holiday season and I like watching a lot of Christmas movies. So I'm like, I don't really want to start a show necessarily till maybe the new year, but I don't know. I feel like we've ran out of shows to watch actually. And we just have to like circle back and start watching <laughs> a show over again. I think we might just end up watching Mad Men again because it's been a couple of years and John's only watched it the one time. So it might be our, show that we start watching in the new year although that just reminded me i think there's a new show on apple that is in takes place in the 50s i feel like it has the name chemistry in the title but I'm, i've seen a preview for it i love this shot of marley she is so adorable this is the next morning she just looks so adorable and so tired so cute Marley just turned 18 and a half on Sunday. <laughs> I can hardly believe it. I've never known a cat um, who lived this long before. So it's like every single day I get with her, it's just, I'm so grateful for it. Um, but she seems to be doing okay. Um, she doesn't seem to have any like issues or anything. She seems to be getting along just fine. I keep like a very close watch on her though because I just want to make sure like for certain that she's not like suffering in any way or her quality of life hasn't gone down. Basically my whole life revolves around Marley <laughs> and like what she needs, what she wants and I just want to make sure that she's like happy and doing well at any any moment. So this was a happy day. John was coming home in the morning and I was really excited to see him. Um, so I was making a coffee, which just like automatically brews, just I said it the night before, but I was making myself a cup and then I was gonna go upstairs and get ready with my first coffee. And here's a great example of Marley. Um, Marley's a very skittish cat for some reason. She's like very nervous, like even around us. Um, we've never determined why, like it's so perplexing to us. But anyway, I was trying to give her her breakfast, but she was running away. And so I knew that she was just gonna run upstairs. So I just tried to approach her <laughs> and put it down on the hall because I knew if she smelled it, she'd start eating. And of course, that's exactly what happened. This actually happens a lot where I'm like, feeding her on the stairs or something <laughs> like she won't she won't come downstairs so I'll have to just leave the bowl like on the stairs and then she'll come down when I'm not looking it's weird but anyway after I got ready and dealt with Marley <laughs> and her food things uh I started making breakfast for John and I, I was so excited that he was coming home so I was using up all of the leftover things that from the breakfast that I had made for myself a couple times earlier in the week. So we've got some um, sausage and some bacon. And then I figured I'd check on Marley. I noticed she was not there eating. It barely looks like she ate anything. I figured she would be at the top of the stairs, but she wasn't. Um, so she was just in the living room washing her face. So I guess she had some of it and she was just like, okay, I'm done for now. So. And then she very quickly decided she didn't want to be down there at all, so she went to bed. She usually sleeps for a, a good portion of the day, like until the afternoon after she eats breakfast. I thought I would show you, I was getting out a glass for my orange juice, but I thought I would show you some of the glasses that I have in here that are the, the bird ones are some of my favorites, but I also love these green ones. Uh, I have like, see there's no more room as you can see in here, so that's why when I'm thrifting, and I see glasses. <laughs> I'm like, I don't have room for them. <laughs> this is what I mean by that. And the strawberry ones actually aren't vintage, but um, they kind of have that vintage feel to them. So I bought them. It, it was really inexpensive. I think it was like a glass, uh, not a glass, a case of six <laughs> um, for like $10. So yeah, just getting coffee made for both of us. And now we're just hanging out, 
because I knew John would be home very soon. So uh, I was just sitting here with Marley and for some reason she didn't hear the car door close, but you can see the moment that the key enters um, into the door because her head like whips around. <laughs> but normally she, when she hears the car door or something, she will, you know, start walking towards the door, but it was just really funny. So I was waiting on John to bring a couple ingredients before I started. So he just brought some more just egg and some hash browns and we actually needed some coffee cream too. Uh, and so while, while I made breakfast, he just went down and pulled all of the orders that we had to pack for that day. So then we sat down to eat, it was so nice. Actually sitting at the table too, which we rarely ever do, but then we got to packing orders. Usually I like make the boxes and do stuff, pull out the things that we are going to use while John starts printing out the labels but unfortunately John was just home too like for a few hours so I was restocking some of his food so I had given him a bunch of the breakfast wraps that I had made at the beginning of the video I would just put them in the freezer so they would get solid and uh, we had a ton of these hash brown patties so I gave him those but he actually just makes the breakfast burritos on the um, that grill uh, and then there was some bread at tofu and then a few videos ago um, I had made a bunch of this broccoli cheddar rice and I just put it in the freezer like well he had taken some of it with him but I put the rest in there so but I decided to make him one of my pumpkin spice ice lattes I was gonna give him the rainbow cup um, which he would not have cared about at all uh, but then I remembered that he actually a has Yeti cup and I thought oh that's perfect because he has a, like a long drive out of him so it will keep it cold so I made it for him he loved it um I knew that he would though <laughs> um but yeah so it was nice seeing him anyway but he's gonna be home very soon so I'm very excited for that So we had a ton of orders to pack. There was like a huge bag of them there on the floor. So after he was going to get to the post office before they closed on his way. And when he went outside, he was like, oh, Jimmy's outside. So I went out to see Jimmy. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> um, as soon as you start petting him, he just like flops over and starts rolling around like this. It's so cute. And he'll just do it forever. Um... Okay, actually, I shouldn't say that. Occasionally, if you pet him for like too long, he'll like grab you with his claws and his claws are razor sharp. Um, so John, since I've been doing a bunch of projects around the house, I had texted him a list of things that he could um, bring or like if he could bring them. So a couple of runners for the basement and then I was looking for some more sponge um, paint brushes because I've been doing a lot of painting and then some bungee cords and then these um, brackets are like pretty inexpensive from the hardware store. Um, I'm so excited though even though I'm not showing you what I'm doing because I'm trying to like finish up some videos so that I'll be able to share those videos hopefully soon and then um, when we moved here I got a couple of magazine subscriptions because we didn't have a thrift store that I could go buy them at on a regular basis so um one of them had came in the mail um and then I so I made myself another coffee and then I just gathered my supplies and went down uh to the basement to keep on working on um that project so I'm very excited because I've been working on it for like almost two years I mean not consistently but like I started doing it two years ago so it's kind of sad that it's taking me this long, but I don't know. I just had a bunch of other things going on too, but I needed the brackets because I was thinking about putting the shelf up in this little grocery area, but I actually ended up using it somewhere else, um, but it did come in handy. This was already here in our house when we moved in, so I've just been trying to like reuse as much as possible <laughs> from all the, the... The previous owner left a lot of stuff actually at... 
I was going to say at first I was mad, but it still gets me a little bit mad when I think about it because <laughs> it was so much work just getting rid of all the stuff he left. Um, but we closed on our house during a, a lockdown, so it was kind of a weird situation. Anyway, the next day, or maybe this was the same day, I was actually feeling like my appetite had come back a bit because, I, like I said, I had stopped watching the news a few days prior to that. So I started sleeping better and it was getting more of an appetite back. Again, still trying not to think about things too much, but, you know, not um, looking at the news definitely can help in that department if you're sensitive to things like that. So I did really wanted some rice noodles and uh, I make this like spicy peanut sauce. So I went down to get some more peanut butter, made them. I actually forgot to like take a video of that, but I had shared a photo on Instagram in my I got out my little like Hello Kitty it's like for ramen noodles but I can't eat ramen noodles so that's why I was wanting the rice noodles um so it was so good I've actually been eating it like almost every day since I first made it because it's really easy to make uh especially if you're just like making something for one person but anyway that is it for this week in the life um I hope you enjoyed this video it's kind of a weird time right now, but I hope everybody's doing okay, and thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I'll be sharing some fun videos soon.